Hello, welcome. My name is Jan, CS Export Manager for Lockinox. Today we'll talk about the power of the Lockinox gate closers. It's very important that you opt for the right gate closer in a certain uh, gate situation. Um, and it's very important that you choose for the uh, right gate closer for the for a powerful gate closer. Um, here you have a nice overview of the forces needed to open a gate equipped with a gate closer. Let's take the example of a lion. The lion gate closer needs 12 newton in combination with, for example, a gate of one meter wide and out of four D hinges. So th that is the minimum that is needed to open a gate. If you have, for example, a, um, a 90 degree hinge or a pin and eye in combination with the line, then you will need more force, more newton to open the gate. Here you need, for example, 60 newton meter um, force to open uh, the gate. Now, um, where does the uh, force come from? from? We work with high quality um, heavy duty spring. Um, all our springs have been tested to a minimum of 500 thousands of movements. They have been also developed to prevent overtorque. Um, I often got the question, can we leave the gate open in combination with a uh, Locknox gate closer? Um, well, yes you can. For example, when schools enter um, the school between, for example, 8 in the morning and 8.30 and you want to leave the school gate open, well, you can. You just have to use kind of a gate catcher to um, keep the gate in an, uh, in an open position. We have kind of two types of springs. We work first of all with the torsion spring. Um, that is the type of spring that is used in our um, vertical mounted uh, gate closers, just like um, mammoth lion verticlose. And we also have a kind of a um, compression spring that is used in our Samson gate closer, which is uh, mounted um, horizontally. Now, um, Newton force, what does that mean? Well, it's all about a certain uh, force um, that is applied perpendicularly to a, certain, to a certain distance, for example, one meter, and that results in a torque. Um, a couple of examples. Um, for example, a gate closer has a 15 newton uh, meter of force. Um, what does that mean? So on one meter, it needs 15 uh, newton to open the gate. Um, what if you have one uh, meter and a half um, gate, um, then you will actually, well, um, have more leverage, so less newton, less force needed to open the gate. Um, also think of your front door, for example. If you would push with your, with your finger at the height of the hinges, you will have to push more, uh, more force needed more Newton. If you would pull, uh, push um, the gate open at the height of the, um, the lock, um, then you have um, yeah, more leverage, so easier to open, uh, to open the gate, uh, just by pushing with a finger. Um, what happens if you have, for example, a gate of half a meter, then you need more Newton, more force, as said, so, um, more kind of difficult to open or close the gate. That is what we mean with Newton, Newton meter. Um, so just a couple of um, some advice. So if you have a smaller gate, please use a kind of a lighter gate closer. For example, we have in our product range, we have the Lion for retrofit, and we have the Tiger hinge and gate closer in one. So the further you can push with the gate, closer on the gate, the better. The wider the gate, as a consequence, of course, the smoother the opening. Is force now the only thing here? Uh, we talked about the spring. Um, well, no, it's of course uh, very important that you have a good gate, so the initial functioning of the gate. Um, the size of the gate is also very important. Um, the position of the hinges, of course, and the wind pressure has an impact as well. Um, well, about the initial functioning, it's very clear uh, compared with a new bike or an old bike. I mean, I think we all prefer to ride on a new bike rather than on an old bike. If you look at a, a gate now, then um, if you have a rusted gate, rusted hinges, 
I think it's more than clear that this will be more difficult than a good working uh, gate with good quality hinges on. Um, so it's very important that you kind of can open and close the gate very um, smoothly without a gate closer. Um, if you see that the gate, is, the gate is okay, then that's fine. If you feel like, okay, the hinges are not top quality, you can always opt for uh, the bolt-on hinges. Uh, we have that in M16 or M20. Um, bolt-on, so screw-on, easy to, um, uh, to retrofit them on, uh, on your gate. Um, and if you really want to have a kind of a smooth opening and closing of the gate, uh, you can always opt for the bared um, eye bolts or bearing hinges, what, uh, what we have available as well. Um, less friction, so a smoother opening and closing um, up, um, of the gate. Now, um, the size of the gate obviously is also important. Um, the, you see um, a drawing on the left, uh, on the left side um, of this page that you see the W. The W should not be more, uh, should not be two times more than A, the distance between the hinges. That is very important for the safety, of course, of the gate and the good closing of the gate. Um, on top right, you'll see the kind of ideal scenario. You have a gate, for example, of uh, one meter, 1.1, 1 1.2. 1, 1 um, hinges are okay and maximum 150 kg. Ideally to kind of mount, um, for example, a line or a vertical. 150 kg, obviously a, um, a vertical. Less than 75 kilo, you can use the, um, the line. And the below one, you see that this is really um, two meter wide. This is becoming a bit too much. Um, you will really have to look at automation. So not really recommendable here to, um, to use a hydraulic, um, hydraulic gate closer. So please pay extra attention if you have um, a gate wider than 1.5. Um, we have a product that can, can go up to 2 meters wide, but that is really the maximum. Um, the weight of the gate is important, but um, less than um, the width, which is still um, key here. And as said before, don't go over two meter wide uh, because then it's, um, it's becoming very difficult to use uh, a hydraulic gate closer and then you'd better use a motor or an automated, automated system. So as mentioned before, the quality of the hinge is important, but what is also key is the position of the hinge. Um, here you see a kind of ideal scenario, meaning um, you see a red uh, bullet and, and a green one. Um, both are perfectly in line with each other, meaning that's what we meant with perpendicular. Um, if you want to have that type of situation, you ideally work with a mammoth tiger or um, our 4D and 3D hinges in combination with rhino, verticlos or lion. Um, so it's very important that um, hinge and gate closer are as much in line as possible. Um, to have the full um, force and to have, for example, the full 15 Newton of, uh, of force, of course. Um, in the next, um, on the next slide, you'll see that the, uh, the turning point of the hinge is slightly away from the turning point of the gate closer. So you'll see that you lose already 10% in this case here um, of efficiency. So also 10% less force available, so 10% less, less Newton. So the, um, the further away the turning point of the hinge um, as uh, per the turning point of the gate closer, and um, the less efficiencies um, you will have. So the less Newton, the less force. So you see on the next slide that um, the efficiency lowers and also the, um, the, um, the Newton is becoming uh, less. So you'll lose up to 40-50% yeah, of efficiency. So you could go up to yeah, 7.5 Newton here. Um, that may become then very difficult to, um, to close the gate. So it's key, um, and here's some, um, some advice already. So it's key that you, first of all, have a good look at the gate, that you make a good kind of drawing um, of the gate. If you have doubts, just, um, just let us know. Um, also, please read the manual, um, go through the installation videos that we have on lockandlocks.com. And of course, as a general rule, 
the closer you can get with um, the turning point of the gate closer to the turning point of the hinge, the better. That is, that is key. But again, we have high quality gate closers, so they, um, they will of course do the job, but that is uh, really some important information for you. Um, we mentioned as well earlier that wind, wind pressure uh, may have um, an impact as well. Um, we see in the market um, more and more full um, cladded, cladded gates, um, aluminium, uh, full aluminium gates, wooden gates. Uh, we, do, we do have solutions for that as well. Uh, but if, if, you have, if you have such a gate uh, or you want to make a new gate, instead of um, opting for the Tiger, um, choose the Mammoth, choose a heavier one. Um, if you're looking at a Lion, um, then you'd better take um, uh, the Verticlose 2 um, or, for example, the Samson, uh, obviously. So be aware um, of, that, um, of that as well. Um, so again, wind pressure um, may, have, may have an impact. Um, and as a consequence, um, as I said before, um, uh, take the heavier, the heavier units that we have available, of course. Um, here to, to conclude, and this is to end the session, uh, a good overview of all the gate closes available today. Um, as you see on top of this um, uh, scheme, you'll see um, Tiger Mammoth, which are known to you, um, a hinge and gate closer in one. Um, and very soon we'll, um, we'll launch the, um, uh, the interior. The interior is a brand new one. Uh, interior stands for uh, an internal gate closer. So everything will be hidden in the gate frame. Nice one to, um, uh, to come up very soon. And the Mammoth um, HD, that's a kind of heavy duty Mammoth. Um, that, will, um, that one will go up to um, 200, um, 200 kg. So a really um, heavy duty version of the current moment that we, uh, that we already have. Uh, the retrofit um, gate close as well. I think most of them are known to you, obviously. Uh, we have the line for lighter gates, 75 kg, 1.1 meter wide. And then we have the Rhino, ideally in combination with, well, highly recommended, in combination with um, the 4D, 3D Lockinox hinge, uh, M16, M20. Eye bolts, um, the very close to, um, a no one 150 kg 1.5 meter wide max and of course the Samsung 2 uh, very popular as well um, uh, the kind of uh, gate close that goes up to 2 meter um, 2 meter wide and 150 uh, 150 kg so if you should have questions about um, the forces of our gate closer about our range of gate closers please um, send us your inquiries, um, send us your uh, questions, uh, send them to your um, sales guys, um, send them to Lockenox, and um, we'll be more than happy to help you and to give you the best uh, possible advice. Thank you for watching this webinar.